Welcome to Network Nuts. My name is Alok Shivastava, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to make your SSH turbocharged. It is as good as the NOS for your SSH. So let's move ahead. I've got a virtual machine here for you. In this virtual machine, if I do SSH on some server, so I give a root at the rate one, say server one dot example dot com. It every time it asks me for the password. So I need to type the password to get into the server one. I don't want this. I want the access without password. So it's very easy. What I can do is that I exit from here. I generate my keys, my key pair for SSH. Here it is. It goes under the default location. So I'm not going to change it. Enter, enter. That's great. So I have got my keys stored under dot ssh folder in my home directory, and these are my keys: id underscore dsa and id underscore dsa dot pub. So what I need to do now, I need to copy my id underscore dsa dot pub file to the server on which I want access without password. So what I do here, I do a scp id underscore dsa dot pub root at the rate server one dot example dot com enter because i'm doing it for the first time it is going to ask me for the password so i give the password bingo the file has been copied on that server1.example.com now here i move on to that particular server i had already opened it on some terminal here it is i am on the server1 and in the background i have got pinole cruise here so that makes you work good <laughs> So here is the file here id underscore dsa dot pub. What I need to do there on the target machine where I want to actually hit, I need to move or copy the id underscore dsa dot pub into ssh folder, and the file name should be authorized underscore keys a u t h o r i z e d underscore keys. So I had just moved my id underscore dsa dot pub into dot ssh authorized underscore keys. So let me try again. I again go to my virtual machine. My keys are being copied onto the server one dot example dot com, and the server one dot example dot com had moved or copied my key keys in, into the authorized underscore keys. So what happened now? If I do a ssh server one dot example dot com now, I am there without being prompted for the password. That's great. Fine. Let's move ahead. We, I'm talking about NOS. I'm very lazy. I don't want to type this SSH server one dot example dot com. So means every time I need to hit the server one dot example dot com, I need to type SSH server one dot example dot com. I don't want this. I I want less keystrokes. Still less keystrokes. So here is a small hack. What you do actually, you create a file here SSH under hyphen two or whatever name. I I had already created the file for you, and just write these two lines in this: shebang, then ssh backs backcode base name dollar zero backward close dollar asterisk. Save and come out. Change the permission of this file to say seven four four. Make it executable. Ssh two. So let me see the permissions here. That's great. Or I can do it again. So do it. Chmod seven four four ssh two. That's good. The so the permission has been changed, though it was already the same permissions. Now create a directory under your home folder bin. I had already created it for you. So please create a directory under your home folder named bin. After creating the directory, move into the bin. And just create a symbolic link of your SSH2 to that machine that you want to hit. That's it. In my case, the link is already there. I'll just show you. Here it is. So it will give me an error, but I'm going to show you with some other example. That ln hyphen s, I give here root SSH2 say second. Server, whatever name. That's it. 
now though I don't have any server named as second server I just shown it to explain you the concept now what will happen so I'm going to hit to the server one dot example dot com now what happens is now my job is easy I just need to give server one dot example dot com and here I am I am on server one straight away I need not to type SSH server one dot example dot com I need not to type this I'd made my job much more easier there I just need to type the name of the server that's great just type the name of the server and you are straight away landed on your target machine what's more beautiful is that you can also execute some command remotely also like I give server one dot example dot com I give fdes hyphen l so without even landing on that server or getting the shell you are able to execute the command remotely wow that's great so that was a small hack or a trick to make your now your SSH is really turbocharged having a NOS so I hope you like that particular trick and a small hack see you again very soon God bless and thank you very much let me see